As you're getting excited to start your studies, there are certain things that you either want or need to do on campus to get ready. Discovering Concordia's two campuses is key, so let's break it down so you'll feel more confident on the first day of classes. One of the first places you want to check out on the downtown SGW campus is the Library Building, or LB for short. Getting there is easy. Tunnels link most buildings downtown and lead to Guy Concordia Metro Station, making it simple to get around especially in winter. As the name suggests, LB Building is home to the library, but also several key services for crossing items off your pre-term to-do list. Get your student ID card, your metaphorical key to the university. You need your student ID to use the library after hours, ride the shuttle bus, use health services, write exams, and more. If you can, get your student ID card before classes start. The earliest you can do this is 24 hours after you've registered for your first course. Once you have your student ID, you can get your public transit pass or student Opus card to access discounted fares. Make your Opus card request through my CU account on the Student Hub. To qualify, you must have your Quebec home address saved in your student center, and you must be enrolled in full-time studies. Waitlisted courses don't count. If you're taking classes both downtown and Aloyola, getting back and forth between two campuses is easy. Just hop on the free shuttle bus. Pro tip, plan your departure and arrival times using the shuttle bus tracker on concordia.ca or in the Concordia app. And remember, you need your student ID to ride the shuttle bus. So get cracking on that to-do list and make getting your ID card a priority. And if you can't, don't stress, you can still get that done in the first couple weeks of classes. For your textbook and course supply needs, visit the bookstop. You can also get Concordia merch there. And for art equipment, go to the art supply store. All of these are located in the LB building. Find out which course materials you need when you enter your ID number on the bookstop website. Or you may prefer to wait until your first class to hear directly from your professor about which textbooks you will need. It's up to you. And some professors put course material in the course reserves room for three hour loans as an alternative to buying the textbooks. Just a few steps from the LB building on Bishop Street, the co-op bookstore is an alternative for new and used textbooks. Pro tip number two, you'll need to get your textbooks for Loyola based programs at the bookstop on the Loyola campus. Which programs are based on the Loyola campus you ask? These ones. For all international students watching, you need to upload your immigration papers through your student center. But it's also a good idea to visit the international student's office. Find the ISO on the third floor of the GM building on the downtown campus. Now let's not forget about Concordia's second campus, Loyola. Here, you'll find lots of the same great services we saw downtown. The library, the bookstop, welcome crew office, and more, including the Loyola landing, where you can access various student services. Got any questions? The Welcome Crew Mentors are your go-to resource leading up to your first week of classes. This is just scratching the surface of what you can find on campus. You'll discover even more as you settle into your studies here at Concordia.